Hello and welcome to another edition of the Auto Section here at WOzeroff.com's YouTube channel. Thanks as always for joining us. This week we're looking at a pretty cool thing. This is the 2018 Mazda 6 in signature trim. And you know the thing with Mazda is that good looks count for a lot. I mean, no question. How, how else would you explain my incredible success? For example, it's all about the looks. But Mazda is arguably turning out some of the best looking mass market cars available. And you know what? It's all in the grill. A few years back, the company lost that odd smiley face motif that they've been using for years and adopted the pentagonal shape we're seeing here. And it really did wonders for the appearance of all their vehicles, whether this one or the MX-5, that's a beauty, and one of my favorite compacts, the Mazda 3. I've been a fan of the brand for years even since long before Skyactiv became a, a weirdly spelled household name, and the company has always offered a tight selection of practical and reliable and well-regarded automobiles all across the board, from now departed nameplates like the Protégé, the MPV minivan, and their small pickups, remember those? Same, same platform as Ford's Ranger series. And I like the sedans too, even in the face of the encroaching popularity of small crossovers and utility vehicles. And so this one, the Mazda 6, while not necessarily the model I would choose from their stable, it's right up my alley. It's a mid-sized front-wheel drive daily commuter, roughly comparable in dimensions to, say, maybe Kia's Optima or the Toyota Camry. The 6 is this manufacturer's everyman car. It's been updated for 2018 with some styling tweaks and packaging changes. And in the case of the model featured here, the signature trim, a newly available 2.5 liter turbo engine. It's a package that rivals much more expensive cars from snootier premium brands and you don't really give up a lot in the trade-off. Now, if you're like me, you know, kind of cynical and bitter, you're probably thinking, hey, it doesn't really look all that different from the last Mazda 6 I saw. But here's where the company would draw our attention to the new front grille design that has been sculpted to create the appearance of greater depth, the new headlamps, and a redesigned trunk lid. Indeed, that's a nice rear end. Now inside the car, Mazda boasts an all-new seat design made more comfortable and in the case of this top-end signature model, surfaced in Napa leather. Further refinement of the instrument panel and door trim designs make it wider looking. Senwood accents and something called ultra suede give the cabin a premium look and feel. And the seats are very comfortable indeed, and apparently this 6 is the first Mazda to get ventilated seats. It only gets them in the front row, but ventilated seats are a really nice thing. Now naturally, I figured the best place to be in any car is the guy behind the wheel, and the driver experience in the 6 is very good. They've redone the instrument display, uh, it's, and the heads-up display in our signature test model projects all of the pertinent information right there on the windshield in a readily acquired at a glance kind of uh, placement and everything is within easy reach. The controls are all pretty intuitive and there's not a big learning curve with this car, which I like. Remember, I'm, I, I'm successful because of my looks, not because I'm smart. Now it's quiet inside and out and it has a stable and smooth ride. Frankly, the car is fun to drive, as, as the children say. Now, I'm not saying it's a blast to drive, mind you, I'll, I'll reserve that kind of hyperbole for the MX-5, but the Mazda 6 handles well and shows off decent handling, cornering, responsiveness, and its 2.5 liter turbo engine kicks out 227 horses and 310 pound-feet of torque and brings on the power without any hesitation. Connected to a six-speed automatic transmission with sport mode and wheel-mounted paddle shifters if you enjoy that sort of thing, the Signature Trim 6 outdoes a number of its competitors. And while fuel economy from the gasoline-only model, it's not a hybrid is what I'm saying. I know we've been doing a lot of hybrids and plug-ins lately, but this one runs strictly on gas. But it didn't do poorly at all in my time in it. I had about uh, 350 Ks on the highway and roughly the same amount in town and it's rated for 7.5 liters per 100k on the highway and 10, 10 even in the city, and I managed to come in a little under that. Overall, I really like the car. It's well equipped at this trim level, and the thick lineup has a good track record for owner satisfaction and reliability. 
The only nitpicks really that I have are that the rear seats don't have as much overhead room as some of its competitors, and of course the price. Now I know I always complain about prices, but remember, I said I was beautiful, not rich. You be the judge. The Mazda 6 starts at 27000 Canadian for a non-turbo GS trim entry, but the much better equipped Signature takes that to 38800 and when you slap on the sole red crystal metallic paint, which is also new for 2018 and the only option that was included with this test model, it adds an extra 450 bucks, bringing the whole thing over the 40k mark, so as driven, we're looking at $41,045 here. Thanks as always for watching our YouTube offerings. Feel free to subscribe, uh, check, check the website, it's wozeroff.com. And as always, have yourselves a nice day. On the road, not in the playground. <laughs> this is a really shady area. Yeah, oh, why is that guy on the road? Oh, I don't no. know.